I've got a top five list. I've got a top five list of the most mind-blowing spots that Lamar Jackson could land. I need NFL Films music. Let's go. I need Films music. I need a little bit of atmosphere. Here we go. Top five spots. Wildest destinations for Lamar Jackson. Oh. Number five on the list. I'm just rehashing the idea I had the other day. Could you imagine as Dan Snyder is thinking of selling his team and leaving the scene, owners are putting pressure on him off camera, off mic, behind the scenes, behind the curtains, pressuring him to get the F out of the NFL. And he says, okay, guess what I'll do on the way out the door? I'm going to give the Players Association and all the players who want fully guaranteed contracts at this price tag to be the norm, I want to give them a gift. I'm going to give Lamar Jackson every dollar guaranteed and just to have a little fun, it'll be one dollar more, sort of like Duke's brothers, one dollar more than Deshaun Watson. Going out the door, that spikes up how much my franchise is worth. I bequeath Lamar Jackson to the Washington fans who might be cursing my name forevermore. But guess what? You've got Lamar in the NFC East and the commanders now are worth a gajillion dollars more and he sells. How wild would that be? And the commanders can tell the Ravens, you take pick 16 this year and our pick next year and we don't care. We've got our quarterback for the future. We're set up. Snyder cashes out and leaves all the owners who he doesn't like with a huge flaming bag of guaranteed dollar contract poop. Mm -hmm. How wild would that be? Mm -hmm. Now we're assuming a lot right there. Toilets! Number four <laughs> on this list. Could you imagine if this team acquires Lamar Jackson and tells all of the fans in Detroit, Michigan, you have Lamar Jackson. Whoa as your quarterback. Jared Goff, we love you. Great job. A lot of momentum going on right here with us for you, but sorry, Jared. We're, uh, we're going to find another destination for you. Lamar's our quarterback. Thanksgiving every year with Lamar Jackson in Detroit, and he's the one that restores the roar. And the Lions take the 18th overall pick. They've got two first-rounders this year. They designate, if they can, the 18th overall pick being the one, their own, that they give to Baltimore. And next year's first-round pick, who cares? They finally have their quarterback forever, for a long time to come. They're willing to give him $4 guaranteed. And then they use the pick they got in the Matthew Stafford trade sixth overall to supplement whatever they want to do to get better who says no to that in Detroit maybe the Lions number three on this list let's now go completely off the rails <laughs> why not let's go totally off the rails let's say this team decides to go for it they've said they love their guy they had a great season with their guy, but their guy, like Lamar, didn't finish. What if the Miami Dolphins say we're going for it? Lamar, you come home. Yep. You come home to South Florida. Now, Rich, you might be saying, they don't have a first-round selection right now, and they need one to get him. Well, what if they decided to go trade another one? Just go totally crazy, flip somebody for a first-round pick. Now they've got him, and now they sign Lamar, and they do something totally wild and do that or wait until after the draft let's see how Tua looks in uh, OTAs let's see how Tua looks you know uh, at, towards the end of June we're nervous we need to make plans guess what sorry Tua we loved you but once again Stephen Ross is knocking on someone else's door and it's Lamar Jackson's they go ahead and give him what he wants 
and the Dolphins bring Lamar to South Florida and Miami, boom. Oof. Number two on this list, could you imagine the Chicago Bears do trade the first overall pick, Yo. but not for a current rookie or to trade down to supplement a rebuild around Justin Fields, but they take the first overall pick and send it to Baltimore, cool. maybe along with Justin wow. Fields. Would that blow your mind? Yes. Would that blow your mind? Yeah. Yes. And Didn't they take Lamar. This whole business of what are they going to do with the pick? They're going to trade down. They got to trade down. They're not going to take a new rookie and, and send away Justin Fields, are they? Could you imagine the Bears do that? Whoa. It would break the internet. Wow. But there's only one other way to break the internet. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Do it. This guy, the man. wildest do it, destination do it, for it, Lamar Jackson. Jackson. Come on. The man. wildest destination for Lamar Jackson would, without a doubt, <laughs> be the Dallas Cowboys. Without a doubt. Jerry Jones stares into the abyss, and he's like, guess what? Guess what? All the Dak, all of what we've been through. I am. I, I can't wait anymore. I can't. We can't wait. We're, we're hitting our head on a certain ceiling right here. Nothing beats the buzz attached to the Dallas Star. What? I mean, that's true. Buzz. Yeah, what more of a buzz would be created than for Dallas to figure out what's to do with Dak? What do you do with him after you go ahead and give? Lamar what he wants and the Baltimore Ravens the compensation for it and Lamar Jackson is on Thanksgiving every year but in Dallas get out of here that would blow away everybody that's my top five wildest destinations you think we need one more for Lamar all right we'll get one all right I got one more I mean, there's so many of them. I don't know how I could put this back on the rails a little bit after saying that Dallas would be number one. But Lamar, as we all know, so many people doubt his throwing ability. So many people were saying, hey, hey, why would a receiver go to Baltimore when all they do is run this and run that and Lamar's not that big of a passer? Well, we know he's great at running and we also don't think about his throwing ability but he's a really great thrower so what better way for him to show off his ability to have people have great reception than a verizon commercial there he is oh, what is are the- you kidding me there's lamar are you kidding the wildest me? destination would be him as einstein are you serious in a ver- I'm very serious I'm tell angry. me what's what's wilder than that brilliant <laughs> chris let's just look leave. at him right there let's just walk off why? This is a walk-off. Kaput. What about him in the Verizon spot? <laughs> I will not give up this bit. I refuse. Well, I'm still seeing Paul Giamatti on the air. I will not give up this bit. You really won't. What better way to show off his ability to have great receptions? Look at him. You really, I, I did not see that one coming. I must say. There he is. Great. <laughs> well done, Smitch. He has a mustache. He does. I know. He, he That's what Einstein hair. does. He has it with Couple. his bicycle in Sicily Strong. <laughs> Bro, you, you find it funny. I Come on I, now. I find it something. I don't know if funny is what I find. <laughs> you find it brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> By the way. Yes. This bit needs to go in the... No, okay, very good. The toilets, <laughs> great, very good. Toilets! No, okay, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> toilets! Dallas toilets, would sorry. blow the roof off this sucker to use a... Yeah, but that's not going to have. Funkadelic phrase. Look, can I just ask you, yes. how hard did you laugh when you came up with that last one? We were sitting there writing this last night. <laughs> not last night. It was, this, it, was, it was this morning. It was a wake up, like, what am I going to do today's show? Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll did do you the top five list. I did. No, okay, thank you. I made myself laugh, <laughs> which is the first indication. Did not run this up the flagpole with Suze. She would have rejected it on the spot on behalf of you. Thank you. But I love it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 